Hello to the global audience of Weixin TV, and welcome to this week's Weixin English Weekly Report, being broadcast on Monday, October 16th, 11:30 p.m. Taiwan time. I'm Fiona Yuanxin. This week, we bring you the latest news from Chan Jishan Weixin Shenjiao, the CGD teachings of the heart. Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration and benediction ritual for national protection and disaster elimination commenced from September 22nd and on December 29th, which was the birthday of Amitabha Buddha. During this period, the disaster and benediction ritual will be launched at the Thousand Buddha Zen Hall of Xianfo Si Temple. At present, the world is in a state of turmoil. The Russian-Ukrainian war has not yet subsided, and Israel and Palestine are also at war. However, the experience of mankind throughout history has shown that the war can never bring true peace. Today, we are still trapped in this situation. We hope the Dharma sound of reciting the 33 Wei Xin Shen Jiao scriptures circulates around the world and the marriage gained from the 99-day Dharma feast, a credit to the 10 Dharma directions, may bring harmony between the underworld and the mother world and safety to Taiwan and the world. The 2023 Amitabha Buddha birthday celebration and benediction ritual for 99 days continues to be held at the headquarters, Xinfo Si Temple. They sincerely invited Great Jade Emperor, Wang Chan Lao Tzu, Guanyin Bodhisattva, Amitabha Buddha, and all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas to descend upon the altar to protect the country, the people, and world peace. However, disputes around the world have not stopped. Wars are endless. The Russia-Ukraine war has not ended, and the Israel-Palestine conflict has begun again. Grandmaster Kun Chen Shi lamented the cruelty of war in the ritual on October 9th and taught the cause and effect of war and how to use dharma to meet our ancestral spirits to resolve the conflicts for virtuous cultivators. Uh, 开始发生战争从战争里面就可以看出来来招请一百零二位天主帝王还有中华民族五千年来一万五千六百一十五姓氏列祖列宗诸主灵以及全国各地全世界
朱祖龄，接着依法仪，还有维新圣教啊，祭祖总会李建士代表，分别唱名一一。点招，进入坛城，听经文化。啊，也有维新世界和平促进会，啊，中华民族人头技术总会，李建树代表，一一的招请，法会连桌上朱祖龄。前来端坐莲台，奏那斋串供养。九十九天的法会，有法师是供诵《维新圣教三十三经》，经宝都是依旧时代，无量劫来构筑时空因缘。啊，以当下啊进入禅堂，静心听闻佛法，然后去回忆往昔在世身上的恩怨情仇，在此时候仰仗玉皇大帝。黄山老祖、观世音菩萨、阿弥陀佛、诸佛菩萨的慈悲，化解干戈习战争，解冤释结，然后在十月十七，啊，宴口，招请。法界众生一起来受那祭拜供养，来时机去世宝，各自回归天上界，啊，不要在世间啊游走报复，所以我们九九法会的尊师义。第一是禅解啊，唯心圣教三十三经以外，啊，唯愿堂上列祖列宗、三界万年侯会众等，接着解脱、解开心结。共同随佛往生，佛净土，两岸同胞的祖先，也都在这里坛城上受那祭拜供养，我愿都能够心开意解，顿悟无生华人，啊，不要再。啊，制造冤冤相报啊的糊涂行为。Grandmaster Yun Chen Shi prays that the Nogal Guardians protect the masses. They transform and resolve grievances to prevent battles. We further pray that humanity achieves mutual love and concern for one another, and pray for everlasting world peace. Weixin Report, Headquarters, Shenfo Si Temple. Take a break. We'll come back soon. The delegates of Development Center for International Religious Affairs of Weixin Shenjiao attended the third International World Sangsen Forum, 
organized by Tessin Academy of Science of Korea's Tessin Jinihui on October 4th and 5th. Director Fiona Yuanxin presented her paper, Altruism and Mutual Beneficence, a study on the way of salvation in Wei Xin Shenjiao and Tessin Jinihui. There were about more than 40 scholars from over 20 countries participating in the forum. The academic forum mainly focused on how religion can help people in modern society resolve global crises. Let's take a look for more information. Director Yuan Xing of Development Center for International Religious Affairs of Wei Xinxianzhao led a delegation to South Korea to attend the Third World Sunsun Forum organized by Daijin Academy of Sciences of Daijin Jury Hall. More than 40 scholars from more than 20 countries around the world gather together to discuss academically how religion can help the world solve the crisis of civilization. Director Yuan Xing also presented a paper explaining the way of salvation in Wei Xin Shenjiao and Dai Xin Jury Hall. The Sunshine Forum was held on October 4th and 5th. The Wei Xin Shenjiao delegation was represented by Director Yuan Xing, General Manager Yuan Feng, and Director Yuan Qing of Wei Xin TV station. They warmly greeted the religious figures and scholars from various countries who participated in the forum and gave each other gifts. They were happy to get together again in the forum. Also, they exchanged the name cards with new religious scholars and representatives and hope to have more opportunities to get to know each other in the future. Director Yuan Xing also accepted an interview with Daijin University, expressing her joy at participating in the Sunshine Forum and her expectations for communicating with scholars from various countries. Chairman Park Yu Han of the Daijin Academy of Sciences and President Lin Yu Moon of Daijin University delivered the opening speech to welcome the participating scholars. Then the forum officially started. In the forum, Director Yuan Xin presented the paper titled Altruism and Mutual Beneficence, a study on the way of salvation in Wei Xin Shenjiao and Daijin Jury Hall. She compared the two competitive ideas of Wei Xin Shenjiao's altruism and Daijin Jury Hall's mutual beneficence and how each can remedy the shortcomings and crises caused by the development process of human civilization in the current society. Scholars also propose discussions in different directions based on their own major, providing reflections on humanistic society through presenting different aspects of religion. After the forum was completed, Daijin Jury Hall arranged a guided tour of their headquarters temple, museum, and newly built library. The museum displayed the history of the development of Daijin Jury Hall and the inheritance of their Dharma lineage, allowing scholar representatives to have a better understanding of their religious history. On the evening of the 5th, Daijin Jury Hall hosted a banquet for representatives of various religions and scholars who participated in the Sunshine Forum. Director Yuan Xin, General Manager Yuan Feng, and Director Yuan Qin jointly toasted to President Yun Yun Do of Daijin Jury Hall and congratulated the forum on its complex success. On behalf of Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, Director Yuan Xin presented President Yun with a calligraphy treasure with the Chinese character of Buddha written by Grandmaster, expressing his sincere blessings. President Wung also said that although Grandmaster was unable to go to South Korea due to health reasons, he could come to Taiwan to visit and renew the relationship of two parties. He also wished Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi good health and the eternal religious friendship. Wei Xin Report, South Korea. Coming up next is Yi Jin Feng Shui Education News. Wei Xin Shenjiao College offer a lecture on Yi Jin and selecting an auspicious date for marriage, funeral, and pragmatic utilization of campus on October 8th by Master Yuan Li. Let's take a look at the highlight footage of their outdoor education. The first semester of the 2022 academic year of Wei Xin Shenjiao College Extension Education Lifelong Learning has been started. In order to make use of students' Yi Jin Feng Shui knowledge and expand their horizon, masters will organize field trip for virtuous cultivators of Yi Jin learning program to various places for outdoor education. 
On October 8th, Master Yuan Li, lecturer of the course of Yi Jing and Selecting an Auspicious State, led students to visit Da Gangshan Chao Feng Si Temple, Eminence Luggage Tourist Factory, and Hunei Branch Temple for the outdoor feng shui education of the surrounding geography. The first stop was Hunei Branch Temple. Master Yuan Li led virtuous cultivators to worship Wang Tan Lao Zhu to bless this field trip is safe and be filled with the Dharma joy. Master Yuan Li explained the principles of feng shui to virtuous cultivators, help them understand how to set the correct orientation of feng shui layout, and apply the concept of flying star feng shui to receive the good energy. There is saying that goes, Good house is 30% feng shui and 70% work hard. Took Hunei Branch Temple, for example, is complied with the principles of feng shui to renovate old houses to receive a major energy change in the universe for the coming 20 years. Then, they visited Da Gangshan Chao Feng Si Temple in Alien District. This grand temple has a 300-year history. Master Yuan Li explained why it always packed with worshippers, since from feng shui point of view, it's located on a treasure land. This temple had back support, courtyard in the front, with nine coral reefs in the middle to receive positive energy of naturals. Virtuous cultivators said they really benefited from Master's teachings. The last stop of the field trip was Eminent Luggage Tourist Factory. They followed Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's instructions to correct the wrong arrangements of the deity of water to be aligned with the principles of feng shui, build a fountain to balance phenomena of naturals, and slowly turn its losses into profit. This result showed the students that follow feng shui principles could bring back from the dead. Wei Xing report, Xu Shu Qing, Gao Xiong. Take a break. We'll come back soon. Chan Qishan Wei Xin Sheng Jiao founder, Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi pays close attention to the development of the Dharma affairs of Yijing University. Following Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's command, President Master Yuan Yi embarked on his tour to Wei Xin Shen Jiao branch temples for learning the first-hand information on promoting Yijing feng shui education. Through these interviews, deeper connections are made among Wei Xin virtuous cultivators from different branch temples and the Dharma affairs and education are developed smoothly. Let's take a look. Master Yuan Yi, president of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Yijing University, goes on a carrying journey to each branch temple where he has talks with respected hosts, lecturers, and cadres about how to enhance the quality of our learning environments and students' willingness to lifelong learning. On October 4th, Master Yuan Yi and his wife visited Chuchen Anxin Branch Temple. They met Master Yuan Yin and the cadres of the local temple. At the beginning of the meeting, Master Yuan Yin greeted everyone and opened the meeting by telling the cadres that the current talk was aiming at dealing with the problems they were experiencing while having classes. Also, Master Yuan Yi explained to the attendees that the representatives of Yijing University were here to serve and solve such issues, encouraged the virtuous cultivators to talk freely about the current learning environment and curriculum arrangement, as well as issues relevant to this discussion. During the meeting, President Yuan Yi and Director Yuan Xin answered the virtuous cultivators' questions and recorded those unable to be solved at once. They promised they would reply to them once they figure out the solutions. On the morning of October 9th, President Yuan Yi, Master Yuan Xin, Director of Grandmaster's Office, and Master Yuan Ji, Deputy Director of Lecture Channing Department, came to Sanchong Branch Temple, where they had a discussion with Master Yuan Min and the virtuous cultivators. During the meeting, practicing Yijin divination, President Yuan Yi made prompt replies to the problems that the cadres raised with care and brought back those issues requiring further discussion. 
The meeting was completed in a pleasant atmosphere, and everyone was grateful to President Yuan Yi, Master Yuan Xin, and Master Yuan Ji for offering the face-to-face -face meeting to discuss their problems. Wei Xin report. Now we are showing you the social services by Wei Xin Bridge Temples. Lecturer Yuan Feng of Changjishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao Xihu Classroom presided a groundbreaking ceremony for a factory owned by a Wei Xin virtuous cultivator. May the construction go well and all the workers and staff on the construction site blessed with safety under the protection of Wang Chan Laozu, Buddha, and Bodhisattva. On the morning of September 26, Lecturer Yuan Feng from Wei Xin Shen Jiao Xihu Classroom conducted a groundbreaking ceremony for Mr. He's Jiahe Fresh Fruit Trading Company in Hemei, Zhanghua. He also guided the installation of the altar and the preparation of necessary items for the ceremony. A few days before the event, he asked Mr. He to post notice around the site to warn insects to stay away. The ritual commenced with Wei Xin Shen Zhao's virtuous cultivators reciting scriptures and seeking blessings. Mr. He and other company directors lit incense to invite Wang Chan Lao Zhu, all heavenly sages, deities, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, city god and deity of fortune and virtue, and pray for their presence to ensure a smooth and safe construction and bring prosperity to the community. At an auspicious moment, guided by Lecturer Yuan Feng, Mr. He used a shovel to break the ground at the site's four corners, accompanied by firecrackers and applause, symbolizing a successful start to the construction. Subsequently, Lecturer Yuan Feng used a feng shui compass to determine the optimal orientation for the front door of the new building. He wishes Mr. He's company safety, smooth progress, and financial prosperity. Wei Xin reports, Zhang Shanqi, Xihu Classroom. Now, let's set aside our tests and concerns for a short while to appreciate the exhibition of the dragon-shaped calligraphy of the 500 Tassagatas of 80-year-old Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi. The 500 dragon-shaped calligraphy paintings of 500 arheads painted by Grandmaster Huin Yuan Chan Shi have been offered to the ancestral spirits and 10 direction star round spirits during the 99-day ritual. Now, the 500 calligraphy paintings are exhibited at the first floor of Huin Yuan Cultural Hall. 
The exhibition is open daily except Mondays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We welcome friends around the world to enjoy the calligraphy paintings and appreciate the martial arts embedded in the forms of the 500 art heads. Finally, today's weekly report would like to share with you Wei Xin Shen Jiao's prayer for world peace. The Dharma protecting deities of the Dragon Heaven protect the common people. They resolve all conflicts and stop all wars. We wish for the hearts of all to be filled with love and together pray that the world is at peace. Let us all follow the teachings of the Venerable Wang Chan Lao Zhu to cultivate the Dharma of world peace and pray for blessings for each of us, our families, our careers, and our earth, this home we all share. Thank you for watching today. Tune in to the Weijin TV English Weekly Report every Monday night at 11.30, Tuesday morning at 11.30, and Tuesday afternoon at 4. Wang Chan Lao Tzu bless you. See you next week.